Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is talk about the, the modeling screen. So we just click once to the right here on the right-hand joystick, and now we're into that area. And let that camera settle in there and focus. And uh, this is very similar here. Let's see, I need to get out of 8 and go to All. And you'll notice now I actually can see the lights that are on. And from here, basically the main thing you can do here, besides bracketing them, if you want to have the modeling lights move up and down as a group, we could go to individual ones. And I'll go over to 3, which is fairly high. And you can see I'm bringing the little red uh, down in relationship to where the candle is. I'm going to bring it back up here. This light, if I go up here and meter it, is... Uh, I can't meter it from here. I'd have to go back to the other screen. Excuse me. Let's go on back to the main screen here. Just hit a meter on that. We're showing a 5.6 at the distance I am up there. So it's actually showing it pretty hot up there. But I have a, a beauty dish on and it's concentrating the light uh, pretty much straight forward. So maybe uh, <laughs> this isn't always relative here. Uh, what's showing here uh, on that yellow. That's what I found at least with that light going on. So on this modeling area, I can go ahead and move the modeling lamps up and down. Channel 1, I can go out here and move it up and down there. Uh, channel 1 is over here. Going to go, see if I can get over to meter that real quick. Uh, group to 1 and go across to here and meter that. I just wanted to see if I could bring that yellow marker up. And now you see it's just there a little bit above the F8 mark. Uh, so the Right now, the left and right, I'm a little closer to channel 2. If I go back here and uh, meter this, let's see, I'm going to go here, go back. A little closer to you see F8 there. So basically, in the modeling screen, that's pretty much all you can do. You can go ahead and go to you know single channels or all and move things up and down power-wise for your modeling lamps. And that's pretty much what this is about, is controlling your modeling lamps and the relative brightness. If something looks a little too bright uh, to you and you just want to bring it down so maybe a little more realistic to what you're seeing and what you're shooting, then you can do that here. So really, this is a pretty simple screen there. Not a whole lot to do on here that you and you can see the relative movement if I'm on all and go tenths of stops up and down uh, with that in the whole group of modeling lamps. So you can, once you've got them set, you can just move them as groups and keep the ratios going the way you want. Uh, so that they'll show you, you know, somewhat what you're going to be taking a picture of. So I'm now I'm going to move on to the, the final screen and all of the screens that are in here inside of this setup screen. So here in the uh, setup screen, 